Welcome to Readability. I'm your host, Ashley Kelson. In Readability, we read all kinds of stories, from short storybooks to large chapter books. You could sit down with family or just lay back and relax. Every Saturday, we read, review, and recommend different books for your listening pleasure. I really hope you enjoy Readability. Let's get started. Hello! So today, I am doing another review. I mean, what did you expect? For this week, I'll be doing a previous Battle of the Books book, New Kid by Jerry Craft. This one is a bit different than the other books I've reviewed on this podcast. Instead of being a novel, which I usually read, this is a graphic novel, or a comic book, if that's what you want to call it. I hope everyone enjoys this week's episode, and here we go. The graphic novel by Jerry Craft is a story about our protagonist, Jordan Banks, and his journey through 7th grade. He originally wanted to go to an art school because that's what Jordan is most passionate about, art. He loves sketching and drawing and doing art-related things, which you'll see throughout the book. Unfortunately for him, his mother has different ideas. Jordan's mom wants him to attend a school that is all about academics, and is really nice. Riverdale Academy Day School, or RADS. Even though Jordan isn't the happiest about the decision, he has to go anyway. Jordan has to survive 7th grade being the new kid. The story teaches the readers about stereotypes. For example, an incident happens with one of Jordan's new friends, Drew, and Secret Santa. But I'll let you read about that. We follow Jordan as he meets new friends, some exciting challenges, and realizes the importance of not judging a book by its cover. Jerry Craft makes his story so animated. Not literally, but it looks so enjoyable and the pictures are just so fun. It's very fun to read and you can relate to Jordan because... I've been in the situation where I was the new kid. Also, the moral of the message Jerry is trying to give is very important for readers to understand, and I give him kudos for that. The book is 256 pages long. There are 14 chapters, though there is no table of contents. This book was the first and only, at the moment, graphic novel to win a John Newberry Award. Isn't that crazy? The author is Jerry Craft, and the publishing brand is HarperCollins. If I had to rate this book out of five, it would be... A solid five. I really like the message and the character Jerry makes in this story. It's funny and super enjoyable to read. The art is lively and super colorful and overall a great story to read about and learn from. I really enjoyed this book and that's why I'm giving it a five star rating. If I had to recommend this book, I would be happy to. It's a quick read for me and I think it's worth it like to read. As I've mentioned, it's funny, relatable, lively and can teach a great lesson totally recommend to a lot of my friends who are interested in reading books because it's just amazing fun just overall a great book and a great read time for the highlights time there actually won't be any spoilers this time so go ahead and enjoy spoiler free One, I really enjoyed how jerry added little segments where jordan would sketch out a page and um, he would be explaining things. So, for example, the handshake, the dude pyramid, and so much more. It was just a great touch. The humor is super great in this book, and I love it so much. It really addresses the problem of stereotypes in a fun and enjoyable way for people to really understand it, especially from Jordan's point of view as a person of color. And I really, really, really liked the friendship of Drew and Jordan. They have a lot in common and can relate to one another, which shows that even when you don't think you fit in, there's someone that can make you feel better and make you feel like, wait, we both kind of don't fit in. You know, we're best friends, if that makes sense. Finally, character thoughts, my favorite. As you may have heard, this book's main topic is about stereotypes and judging people by their looks, along with bullying. So we have a variety of characters in this book that do different things. We can tell that Andy is the kind of bully that jokes around and thinks that he's being funny, but is really hurting people's feelings. At the moment, I can't really give character that is my least favorite. Yes, Andy is mean, but he's not my least favorite character. But I can say that Jordan is a great character. He has flaws, yes, but he has a great personality and traits that are important for a realistic character. Also, a little honorable mention for Alexandra because she did play a good role in this book. I really hope you enjoyed. This graphic novel was great to review in this week's episode, so I hope you take the time to check it out because 
it's pretty good. Alrighty, here's the end of our episode. Thank you for joining me, your host, Ashley Kelson, on Readability. It has been a really great time, and I hope you join me again next week. Remember, every Saturday we either read, review, or recommend a book for your listening pleasure. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Keep reading, folks. Bye!